What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, please hit that like button, that really helps me out. This video, I'm gonna be answering one of the most common questions that I'm getting on probably one of the most popular videos that I currently have right now. The video is PTO Clutches 101. Very popular right now. Uh, right now, what is it? it's August, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been cutting your grass all season. You've been wearing out that clutch. It might have some hours on the machine and it's time to either replace that clutch or need to get it off. So that video is really popular right now, but that common question that I get is, what if I can't get the bolt off? Or what do I do if I can't get the bolt off to, to remove the clutch? Now, this is gonna be specifically answering the question about getting the bolt that's in a crankshaft because that bolt is going vertically into a engine's crankshaft so you can forget about using penetrating oil you can forget about well I've done it before I don't recommend it but you can use a torch to heat heat up the bolt a little bit let it cool off completely I don't recommend doing that unless you have a decade or more of experience and training with using a torch. All right, so one method that I showed in that video that works very often for me is the tightening and loosening method. Um, I don't remember the torque specs uh, right off the top of my head. I want to say somewhere around 80 um, is what they say to, to put in, in the, uh, the, the specs of tightening those bolts. However, a lot of times they put red Loctite on those threads. All right, um, so your main answer to what you need to break that bolt loose is more torque. All right, guys, just like when you go to the whole reason you're going up in a longer ratchet or wrench or whatever, it's to give more leverage and be able to apply more torque. But guys, forget about getting underneath there with a ratchet, okay? not going to work because you're going to need to have impacts to get it up loose so basically what you you could do is get under there with a wrench or a ratchet with a socket on there and you're going to start applying uh, force let me show you like on this mower unfortunately i don't have a mower with an electric clutch on it but this is basically the same concept so you got this bolt right here it's going into this crankshaft and at the top of here there's a nut so if you're thinking you're going to be able to just take the you know put a wrench on here with it to hold that nut even if you take this screen off access that nut there and turn it chances are it's going to break that nut loose so what you're going to need as you're trying to uh, un unscrew that bottom one what you need is an impact wrench all right and I will get comments where people will say, hey, look, I've, I've put my impact on it and it still won't break it loose, but they don't give me any information of their impact, okay? They might be using, similar to my DCF 902 that only has 200 foot-pounds um, of, of breakaway torque, where my DCF 911 has 400. Sometimes this one will do it. It's sometimes it's really slow at times if on, on, on those crank uh, on those clutch bolts and a lot of times I'll have to kind of tighten and loosen tighten and loosen just to get it to slowly back out guys what I would recommend get you a DCF 900 um, this thing has 14 foot-pounds of torque breakaway torque this actually replaced the DCF 899 uh, that had 1200 and that would also do it really fast all right, now there's milk. There's got there's other brands. I'm not sponsoring Dewalt. Nobody's paying. I just that's what the brand that I use. You know, whether it's a Milwaukee or whatever brand it is, you need to get one that's strong enough to actually break that bolt. Okay, because once you get enough torque applied to it, one of two things is going to happen: the bolt's either going to come out or the bolt's going to break off into the crankshaft. You got to do one or the other to get that PTO clutch off. Now, it's a mess. It, it's rare, but it does happen. I've dealt with it several times where that bolt is broken off inside of that crankshaft. Now you're in a real mess where um, 
you got to either drill out and use some uh, extractors. But every time I've gone to use some extractors, if it's if it's so tight in there that it has broken the bolt, uh, chances are you're probably just going to need to drill out very carefully. Get right in the use the center tap, drill out that bolt, doing your best not to damage those threads in that crankshaft. So if you but if you do. Um, well, first of all, let me say this. What I do is I will drill slowly, go and, you know, get a bigger bit, trying to stay in the middle. And then it will get to the point where you can kind of just pick away at the what's left of the bolt out of the remaining threads. It's time consuming. It's tedious. I hate doing it, but sometimes that, that's the best way if you're wanting to save those threads. Worst case scenario, you completely screw up the threads. Go get a helicoil kit. Um and install that Healy coil. I've done that before and it's worked, no problems, but I will probably make a video next time that uh, ever happens. I'll make a video on how to do that. All right, guys, and, and let's just say you're in a bind. You can't, uh, you know, they, they're not in the store. You don't have the money right at the moment to go get one of these, or you don't have, you just can't get one of these. Let, I understand. One other thing you could do and I'm gonna use this. This is a bigger bolt and nut than what's actually in those. I'm gonna kind of demonstrate one thing that you could possibly do that will work. All right guys, so one thing you can do, if you got a wrench, get the correct size wrench for the nut or that bolt, in that case for the PTO clutch. And what you wanna do is you're going to try to simulate an impact wrench. All right, so you're not gonna be able to just do uh, apply steady force because it, it's just gonna end up turning the motor over, all right? And like I said, if you put a nut or a wrench or socket, ratchet and socket on that top nut of that crankshaft, you're probably just gonna end up breaking loose that top nut. So what you wanna do is take a small sledgehammer or something, be very careful, and you're trying to simulate you know, the, the impacts by hitting that wrench with the hammer. You can do, and then you can also try that even with the wrench and the hammer, do the tight and loosening method. And then maybe once you might get finally break it loose, it might start working out for you. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope, really hope it helps you out if you're having that problem. Uh, and just real quick, by the way, that hammer I was using is this E-Swing um, two-pound uh, drilling hammer. It's basically a small sledgehammer. Um, they're just called drilling hammers. It's basically just shorter and smaller. They're made for punching, you know, driving like punches and chisels. Use it all the time. I have several of these. Very handy hammer. You can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. But anyway, hit me that, uh, do me a favor, hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. And again, I hope this video helps you guys out if you're having problems removing your PTO clutch bolt. Thanks, thanks for watching.